Hello, today we're going to have a look at how to have a dual boot system of Windows 8.1 along with Windows 10 without having to really kind of like, um, shall we say, shrink this, create a new partition, etc, etc, reinstall, all that kind of stuff. Okay, it's going to be a very, very simple thing. We're going to use our existing disk, okay, and we're just going to create a virtual disk on top of this and install it. The Windows 10 on that. Now it actually works. Okay, let's have a look at how to do it. First we need to get to the disk management screen which we can do by going to start over here and typing in disk mgmt dot msc. Okay, and then you open that and then basically you're here. Okay, now once we're here we basically need to create a new VHD. Okay, so over here we can create our new VHD. Oops, let's see. Create VHD. There we go. Location, let's uh, just put it right on the C drive. Let's keep it very, very simple. Okay. Some people might be wondering why it takes a little bit longer to click into things. It's because I'm using a pen and the responsiveness with the Wacom in a virtual machine, which is what this is, is not 100% as on the host machine. Okay. All right. Now let's give it a name. Let's call it Win10. Okay. There we go. Right on the C drive. Click Save. Give it a size. As we're working in gigabytes, let's say 30 or 35. That should be more than enough. Okay, there we go. VHD. Dynamically expanding. Okay, I don't want to take up too much space right now. Okay, as um, everything is running within a virtual disk. Otherwise, you might want to create a fixed size. Okay, and it's up to you. Okay, VHDX supports huger size ones. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to go for. Let's go for dynamically expanding. It starts off a little bit small. Okay, there we go. And now we've got our 35 GB done. All we now need to do is click over here, go into C, and as you can see, it's right there. Now what we need to do is reboot with the Windows 10 CD, or actually DVD, either installed in your disk drive or on a USB. We've got a previous video on how to, shall we say, copy the DVD ISO to a USB, and that's available also. All right, okay, so now we'll just reboot. Okay, we've now rebooted. And basically, it said press any key to boot the DVD, which we did. Press any key on your keyboard. Okay. Now it'll boot up. Give it a minute or two. Okay. This whole process will work on a normal computer without the virtualization. It's not a problem. Okay. As you can see, you're seeing these boxes because we're running basically one windows on top of another windows so that we can actually record it okay otherwise it would be we need to have a camera and a tripod facing into it okay so now we just choose like normal okay just go to next okay click install now okay and basically as soon as it gets to the screen where it says where do you want to install it we're going to have to hit shift and the F10 button. Okay, but we accept the license first. Yes, okay, that's fine. Okay, so once we get to this stage, we now need to bring up the control, I mean the command prompt, okay, and then basically partition our previous virtual disk so that Windows recognizes it as a new happy, happy disk. Okay, how do we do that? We basically hit the shift key and the F10 key. That brings that up. And we have it on our D drive. Okay, we'll just check again. There we go. Win10.vhd. That's happily there. We now need to type this part. 
don't forget we're going to be partitioning our happy little virtual disks. Don't forget our original hard disk, nothing has been modified on that. Okay, we're, we haven't shrunken it, we haven't expanded things, we haven't done anything on that. Okay, so we're just going to do now is select select and then it's vdisk and now we need to give the file equals d backslash what's it called win 10 dot vhd okay now with a bit of luck that'll work happily selected okay now we type a t t a c h attach okay and vdisk beautiful everything happily done you can exit out of that. That's not a problem. Okay. Exit again. And now we're in our screen. Custom install Windows. Well, hey, there's our 35 gigabyte space. Okay. Now that's the original hard drive. Okay. Which has our Windows 8.1 on it. We're not even going to mess with that. We're just going to use this little fellow over here. Okay. And now just install as normal, okay? So we create a new, that's perfectly fine. Da da da, perfectly. Don't worry about this, it's a little bit of a, shall we say, um, it's not quite aware yet, okay? Even though this system has been around for some time. So we're installing it on disk, okay? That's highlighted. Okay, click next, okay? Copying files, give it some time, okay? It'll basically take time. Okay, to get all the files ready, install features, and we'll come back once it's at the next stage. Okay, on a reboot, it basically will come up to this stage. Okay, I'll bring it back up. Okay, da, da, da. it'll be like this. Okay, you'll get these two options. Okay, basically, either the Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. We're continuing with the Windows 10. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have that screen. We clicked on Use Express Settings. It'll set up our Windows 10 user environment in a minute. Okay, and now we're here where it comes to the stage where you create a username. Okay. We're using Windows 10 Ninja. Make sure you enter a password, re enter password, give a password hint. If you don't, it'll just proceed, and every time you start up the computer, it will never ask for a password until you change the settings again. We're not setting a password. Okay, and so there we go. Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 dual boot without having to partition your existing drive, resize it, or completely wipe it. Okay, thank you for watching.